Salutation my comment, how you guys doing? Now, I've not made a YouTube video in about a month and I apologize for that. I'm working pretty much full time at the moment. I've got a job where I work six days a week. Now, with this job, I pretty much come back home around like 9 p.m. and I wake up at 4.30 a.m. And so I'm pretty much shooting this video and it's, it's around like half 11 or 11 o'clock at night time. So you guys better be happy that I'm sacrificing my sleep just to make this YouTube video. But in fairness, I'm really glad that I'm making this video. So today I'm going to be doing a small YouTube tag and it's also my first ever episode of my series of Ask Abdin where you guys, the viewers, ask me questions and I'll answer your questions. I pretty much delayed my Ask Abdin series since 2009. So I thought, what better way to start the Ask Abdin series with a small YouTube tag video where I answer a fair bit of questions. I got tagged by Jack Sutton from Jack's World as well as Unruly Housewife Valerie. So I thought, you know what, I might as well do the tag that I promised them that I would do. Let's roll the tag. Titles. Now these titles are made back uh, when I was um, uh, 13, 14, so uh, they're quite old titles, but I'm going to update it. Roll titles. So now the first question is what inspired you to make your YouTube channel? Now for me personally, what inspired me to make my YouTube channel is other YouTubers like Ryan Higa. So Niga Higa, Kev Jumba, Shane Dawson, Charlie Sakulak, all the YouTubers that I used to I used to follow. They inspired me to make my YouTube channel. As well as the fact that I um, grew up in a family where I've got four older siblings and I was the youngest one. And so I used to always be referred to as Hussein's brother or Abdul's brother or Shiban's little brother. And so I never really had uh, an, uh, an image of my own. You know, I was always referred to as someone's sibling or someone's relative. I kind of wanted to carve my own pathway. Um, so that's why I did. I, I, I thought, you know what, a great way of doing that is by making YouTube videos, get good at doing what I do and people will know me as a filmmaker or as, as a YouTube boy and stuff. And so that's what kind of also inspired me to make a YouTube channel. Question number two, second question is, so how long have you had your YouTube channel and have you had other YouTube channels before that? Now I've, <laughs> so I've been on YouTube since I was uh, 12 or 11, well basically, um, my first ever YouTube channel was a channel called Time Lord Abs, Time Lord as in from the Doctor Who series, you know, Time Lord. And that YouTube channel was pretty much just for browsing, just watching YouTube videos, just just only those kind of things. It wasn't anything that I'd post on. I think the things I would post on would be like a stop motion animation that I do with my Sony K200i, one of those crappy um, analog phones. After that, I, I I thought, you know what, I'm ready. I want to make some YouTube videos. And this was when I was like 13, turned like 13. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to make some YouTube videos just like Kev Jumba, just like Ryan Higa. And just like Shane Dawson. So I thought, okay, you know what, Time Lord, Time Lord abs isn't very cool. Now this was the time when 2005, 2006, Doctor Who hadn't gone mainstream yet, he hadn't blown up yet, so it wasn't cool. So I thought, now that it's always been cool. It's always been cool. cool. I thought, okay, Time Lord is not really cool. So I thought, you know what, let me change my name to King Khan Abs. So that's quite cool. And then obviously that account, it got removed due to copyright violations back in 2010. I was on um, holiday in Bangladesh during the summer, and this is when YouTube implemented this new copyright rule. So my old channel, my old King Khan Abs channel, I had like so and so many views and subscribers and everything like that. However, it did have copyrighted music. I think I was dancing to Mumsy Strange just give me one more dance and pretty much Whilst I was in Bangladesh, they uh, they didn't message me. They didn't really give me a chance to remove the video without terminating my account. So they terminated my account, and I was like, no, you know what? What am I supposed to do now? And so um, I came back from Bangladesh and thought I still want to carry on doing this. So then I made my current channel, which is the channel that you guys watch my video on now, and it's called the Official King Kong Abs. And this is my main channel, my go-to channel where I do short films, vlogs, sketches, uh, you know, promo videos, like um, all sorts of things. I also do have other channels as well. I've got my second channel, which is my personal channel, where I put like family videos and baby videos and stuff. And that channel is um, the URL, the Username is just Abdin King Khan, or um, it's supposed to just be Abdin Khan, and there it's just like a lot of just family videos. Like, personally, I think for you guys, imagine boy, you guys, but those videos are just like they're not all perfected. You know, with this channel, I try to perfect my videos, I try to make them, you know glamorous and sparkly and shiny and really nice. You use my microphone and everything like that. Whereas in my second channel videos, it's not as good. And I tend to like post like my Snapchat vlogs and stuff. Hey, um, it's me, Michael. Uh, you may know some of my songs like Billie Jean and um, Thriller. This is a bit more older, Michael, so it's like, you knock me off of my feet now, baby. I also have a new, a brand new other channel, by the way, guys. Now, this other channel is called Abdin Reviews. I've not posted anything there because it's a brand new channel. And the reason why I made this channel was basically because a while ago, just before I had this job, because obviously I've got this job right now, I'm not able to produce frequent videos. But before I had this job, I thought I really wanted to do a lot of reviews, tech reviews or film reviews or TV show reviews and everything like that. And I didn't really want to post it onto my official King Kong channel, this main channel, because I thought I'm going to spam my current viewers. We just start bombarding with a whole lot of stuff in terms of imagine if I was doing a whole lot of Doctor Who reviews and then start doing Bollywood reviews and stuff like that, Bollywood film reviews. It'd get in the way of my current viewers and I try to I try to keep my channel clean organized and everything like that I've got a, a wide demographic of people that do watch my videos and everything so I do try to make playlists for them so they can watch my videos and everything like that I do have that other channel I've been reviews so if you guys want to subscribe on the annotation right now I'll be uploading videos on that channel as well for any reviews like tech songs films books 
all that kind of stuff. So the next question is, so where do you see your channel and yourself in five years? Now, personally, I see myself a bit more successful in life, making a bit more money, consistent money, earning money in what I love doing, which is working with cameras, film, filming. Hopefully, I, I want to get more into filmmaking and acting. I want to seriously delve into acting, you know, since I'm a trained actor. I'm trying to get some small TV roles or, you know, let's, let's aim high. I'm trying to see myself in a film or something, like an indie film. Hopefully, by then, I'll be shot and edited a lot more wedding films. You know, at the moment, I'm quite new to that, that scene. I have got some experience, but in regards to my YouTube channel, I just wish it to blow massively. I do have certain ideas where I know those ideas will be quite successful in terms of views and sponsorships and all that kind of stuff. I've not had the time to go around as of yet. I do hope in five years time my YouTube channel is still booming. You know, all my channels are like quite successful. I'm, I'm frequently uploading and everything like that. So that's what I do hope to see in five years. So the next question is, what message are you trying to... The next question is, what message are you trying to create? Hello. So the next one, <laughs> I can't even speak. So the next question is, what message are you trying to get across through your videos? Now, personally for me, I'm trying to get across the message of... I tend to say in all my videos, love, peace and peace in there, as in love, all is love. I'm not a hater. I, I don't hate people. I always want the best for them. So I want audience, my viewers, to, to feel the same way. And then I say peace as in, because I don't want... I like to think of myself as a pacifist. I'm very peaceful in terms of I don't start fights. I never start fights. I don't think I'd, I like to start fights. I can defend myself, but I hate, uh, I do not start fights. So peace and um, peace in the rising feel beautiful. I want my viewers, I want everyone to feel confident. What, what I try to get through with everyone is that you can pretty much do anything if you put your mind into it, you know, because I'm I'm an Asian boy that has gone through the route of becoming an actor and a filmmaker. You know, stereotypically, those guys were pretty much destined to be doctors or engineers or lawyers, or if not, you're a disgrace. You know, for me, it's my go-to message for everyone is pretty much you put your mind to it and you work your ass off. You work your ass off. You can just do whatever you want. Whatever you want to achieve, you can actually smash it. You can do it. I think Will Smith says it. He says something along the lines as The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I've, n I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented where i excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic you know while the other guy's sleeping i'm working while the other guy's eating i'm working there's no easy way around it no matter how talented you are your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled mm -hmm. you know if you don't study if you don't work uh really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day mm -hmm. you'll never be able to communicate with with people with your artistry the, the way that you want so if you don't practice that if you don't if you don't work on those then you won't get there whereas if you're constantly you're constantly working hard you constantly give it your all then you know you will achieve greatness everyone can achieve greatness that's what i truly believe hand on my heart i, I believe that if you're if you're just really deeply passionate about something you can achieve that i that's quite a long that's quite a long explanation but um that's what i try to um get across my message i guess i don't know i mean not in every video not in every video i'm not like all this motivation and all that stuff i do try to spread those positive messages either in my videos or if you meet me in real life if you meet me in real life i give you positive vibes you know try to always uh, encourage you in, in 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 what you're doing so the next question is um <laughs> do people from school or work uh, come across your videos um, and so as you guys know I've been on YouTube for nearly 10 years so when I was making YouTube videos I was in high school and the reason why I made YouTube videos in high school is because I saw Nigi Higa and Kevin Jumba making videos and Shane Dawson I thought they were super cool and so I thought in high school you know what to fit in to, to be a cool kid I'll make YouTube videos oh boy was I wrong was I wrong with that you're, you're not the cool kid if you make YouTube videos in high school no no, you, you do get picked on quite a bit. People uh, did, did come across to my videos in high school. I think I made a video about it in, in one of my previous videos called What I Hate About School. But there's young Abdin right there and he just he's just complaining about our girl pretty much taking piss at me because she found she came across one of my videos. In terms of work as well, yeah, yeah, people from work, they, they, they know I make YouTube videos, they, they enjoy my YouTube videos, they tend to randomly stop me and just be like, Abdin, Abdin, guess what? What, man, what? I watched a YouTube video last night. Yeah. It made me laugh, man. It made me laugh. Okay. Cool. I, just, I think as well, I tend to, um, in my CV or in, in my acting CVs or anything like that, I tend to promote my YouTube channel. I'm very proud of it, you know? It's not something I'm ashamed of. I used to be when I was in high school, but now I'm very passionate about what I do and I'm very proud of what I do. So any content that I do produce, I'm happy with it, you know? I don't really shy away from it. I'm just like, you watch my YouTube videos? Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. And then that's pretty much it. The next question is, what does your YouTube name mean? Now, I'm going to go back to when I got my YouTube name. So Time Lord Abs, then it's King Khan Abs. I thought of that name basically from, uh, this was one of the point when I started thinking, I really like acting and I really like this, you know? I was in the living room with my sister. I was thinking about, you know, making a new YouTube channel. And uh, she had Before You on, which is the Bollywood Indian music channel. And there was like a interview, uh, no, sorry, a red carpet premiere. And it showed some footage of um, this famous Bollywood actor called Shah Khan. And Shah Khan, he's basically like the Will Smith of Bollywood. He exudes um, charisma and confidence and, you know, just suave. He's very cool. 
school and uh, he was walking the red carpet premiere and uh, his fans or all the people that watch him they're, they're screaming out King Khan King Khan King Khan I was I remember just staring at it and I was amazed you know I was I was really mesmerized by what I saw on telly on, on the screen you know all these lovely people they were like just screaming for this talented actor and I was like you know what I want that name as well I want that I want the adoration from people I want that love and appreciation respect and adoration from people so I kind of stole adopted you know the name King Khan and then um, my uh, my nickname from primary school and also at work as well is Abs. So I thought, you know what, I'll put King Khan and then Abs as in Abdin. That's where my YouTube username originates from. So the next question is, what are your other favorite YouTubers? Okay, um, hold on. I'm gonna try to fit anyone, everyone in if I can do. I don't get really time to watch a lot of YouTube videos anymore, which is awful. Shame on me. I used to be, I'm, I am I used to be addicted to YouTube. I used to go on every day. But um, just previously, um, I've been just watching a whole lot of Jack's World stuff. You know, Jackson. Um, he's the one that tagged me originally into this video. Also, I Valerie Mello. She's on Rulu Housewife. Basically, there's a group in Facebook called the Manchester YouTube Army. And so. I tend to watch a fair bit of their kind of stuff. I also watch um, my friend, well, whenever he does post, I watch Bob from the North. Bob from the North, his name is Sufyan Salam. He doesn't make any more YouTube videos as much anyway. Prick. I love his videos, I love watching his stuff as well. And then recently I found this new YouTuber. Well, I say new, it's new for me. But her YouTube channel is called Keen as well. And her name is Sakina. And I tend to watch, I like watching her videos. Even though she makes like makeup tutorials and stuff. I just like watching her YouTube videos. Not that fancy or anything like that. I kind of do. I really do. But, um... <laughs> So those are the YouTube, those are the YouTube small YouTubers that I tend to watch. Oh, also my mate Joe Davis as well. So the people I guess that I want to tag for this YouTube video, uh, I might tag, okay, hold on. I'll tag my friend Sufyan. You know, hopefully he makes YouTube videos again. So I want to tag him. Joe Davis, my mate Joe Davis. He's also um, posed making YouTube videos, but I want to tag him so he makes YouTube videos. Papi Mimo, so my mate Max Johnson. You know, I've known Max since I started making YouTube videos back in the OG days, back from, you know, when I was uh, Time Lord Abs, King Con Abs. So I want to tag Max. Oh. You might see this on Snapchat and she's like, damn it, Mike, call me out. Also tag my, my new friend. Uh, Patricia, she she also makes um, YouTube makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Her YouTube videos are mostly in Portuguese. For current videos, she's trying to do it in English, so that's all good. And then last person I want to tag, the last but not least, Takina from Kina's World. Um, and uh, her videos are just lovely to look at. You know, she's just brilliant. Um, yeah, she's she's beautiful and brilliant and pretty and quite quirky and funny and. Um, she makes me smile when I'm when I'm uh, messaging and stuff. So I thought I'd tag her as well because she said she'd actually go go and do it. Because a lot of people when you tag them they don't they don't do it they don't go through with it. But I thought you know what. Um, but those are the people that I want to tag. Pretty much that's it for now. That's that's the video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. New videos are coming soon. Stay tuned. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also remember guys, geeks are cool. So love, peace, and peace, Chandar. Bye. <laughs> I've been talking, rambling on for 26 minutes, dude. Damn, dude. <coughs> cool. Is that mum? Oh, look. Hello. What are you doing? You're, you're on the camera, Samira. <laughs> That's Samira now. She's a big girl. She's not even a kid anymore. <laughs>